Hello, anyone, everyone, and welcome to the Week I Review. My name is uh, Bougie in a very specific way. Today, I'm talking about men's clothing company, Mack Weldon. It may or may not surprise you to learn that I am the type of person who sees a Kickstarter for sheets with silver threading and then immediately backs it, even though I didn't actually have a mattress at the time, or that when the same company made a Kickstarter for silver lined towels a few years later, I was all up on that too. You see, silver is naturally antimicrobial and anti-odor, and I both hate doing laundry and live in an apartment building that doesn't have a washing machine in the first place. So I like to buy things that have silver in them when I can, even if it costs a little bit more. Case in point, a vlog segment. So I'm currently in front of that uh, awful new structure in uh, New York City at the Hudson Yards area called The Vessel. I'm here because Mack Weldon just opened their first physical location, which is in New York City and happens to be fairly near where I work, so I decided to take my lunch break to uh, go check it out. I'm currently wearing a whole bunch of Mack Weldon stuff right now. Actually, this, uh, this shirt's Mack Weldon. My, my undershirt is Mack Weldon, as are my boxers and socks, which I'm not going to show you, but uh, yeah. So I wanted to check it out, and I guess I'm going to film it because that's my life now. So I'm currently in Hudson Yards, I'm hanging. No. Sorry. I know what you're thinking. Alec, did you just buy that underwear for the sole purpose of getting footage of you handing something to a salesperson? Yes, yes I did. I mean, I did need new underwear and I was planning on buying these eventually, but really it was, it was mostly just to get the footage. Maybe I can write it off on my taxes. Probably not. Anyways, uh, that's enough for this vlogging portion of the video. Back to you, Alec. Thanks, Alec. Wasn't that fun? have to justify that licensed music subscription somehow. And now I have underwear that I can open on camera in this super secret second video, which there's really just like no reason to watch. A few years ago, I made a clothing change that few people would ever notice. I stopped wearing boxers. Been wearing them since middle school, but a girl I met on Tinder told me they looked bad on me. And so I immediately threw away every single pair that I owned because at that point in my life, it seemed like a rational reaction to such criticism. Being not even vaguely confident enough for briefs proper, I decided to go for that nice boxer brief middle ground. This was the heyday of MeUndies sponsoring every single podcast, so I figured it was time to give some internet underwear a shot. The pairs that I ordered were both too small and, much to my chagrin, didn't have a fly. And on my first day wearing them, I got caught in my zipper and yelped in pain in my literally at capacity office bathroom, which is like 25 people. I was so mortified that I never wore them again. I got some generic ones at Macy's and went on with my life. A few months later at the wire cutters recommendation, I got a few pairs of Uniqlo Airisms and I liked them immediately. For a year or so, that was enough. But then I started getting daily Facebook ads for Mack Weldon's Vesper Polo. I had heard of the company because they actually advertised on the Flophouse podcast, which was the only one, I guess, that went with them instead of MeUndies. And I really did like the way that polo looked, inspired as it was by James Bond. So I checked out their website, and lo and behold, silver. This was last May. Mac Weldon has a loyalty program called Weldon Blue. You don't have to sign up for a credit card or give up the contents of your genetic code. You just have to buy things. After your first order, you are instantly part of level one. You get free shipping on any order rather than just those over $50. You also get 10% off orders above $100. 
If you spend over $200 within a year, you get upgraded to level two, giving you a 20% discount on all orders as well as some other things that are less meaningful. I like this, but I also realize that I'm getting played. Because this means that everything that Mac Weldon sells has a 20% markup on top of the typical retail markup because their business model must be built to be sustainable even if pretty much every customer were Weldon Blue level two. To go deeper into the cynicism, there's a psychological factor to discounts, that famous JCPenney experiment where the company stopped lying about everything being on sale and instead posted that sale price as the real price, was a total failure. Shoppers didn't care about the actual price of the item. It was the relationship between that price and the arbitrarily higher number posted beside it that mattered. People love to feel like they're getting a deal. And let's be real, Mack Weldon products aren't cheap. And hitting that initial $200 benchmark isn't hard. I did it on my first order. Hell, even with my discount, those two pairs of boxer briefs cost $54. And sure, there's literal silver in them, the non-silver options, which I also have a few pairs of are quite a bit cheaper, but you can get two pairs of Uniqlo Airisms for less than the cheapest Mac Weldon underwear. And that's after a discount. But I'm also at the point in my life where I'm okay spending a little bit more than I historically would have when something is higher quality. I mean, the old adage is that you get what you pay for, and it's true up to a point. Expensive things typically do cost more to make, but it is a question of proportion. For example, my colleague's wife worked for a high-end swimwear company, the kind that charges literally hundreds of dollars for a bathing suit. And their bathing suits were objectively higher quality than your typical one, costing several times as much to make. Except we're actually talking about a total cost of like $18, $20 as opposed to like 2 to $5. It is a better product, but that markup is just out of reach for most people, including myself. I would never spend hundreds of dollars on a bathing suit, regardless of the wholesale cost. But I did spend 70-ish twice on pairs from Mack Weldon for my trip to Mexico, and I don't regret having done so. They're great, the best bathing suits I own by far. They fit well, which is pretty important for clothing, and you know, I think look pretty good too. I hemmed and hawed over whether or not I actually wanted to model my Mack Weldon clothing in this video. I don't really want to, but it seems like the kind of thing I should do given the nature of the video. So as a compromise, I put it after the review itself. If you stick around post score, I will show you everything Mack Weldon that I own and what it looks like. But I also wouldn't have spent the 90-ish dollars per suit that they cost without my 20% discount. You know, seeing the number in the cart all crossed out with what I viewed as an ultimately more reasonable price below did make me feel better about what was objectively still a fairly big expense on something that I don't use very often. And there is this pressure to keep spending money there to stay in that level two tier because I want to keep getting those discounts because I really don't want to pay those actual prices. But on the other hand, it's not like I'm not getting really great clothing out of the whole thing. I have been impressed by the quality of every single piece of Mack Weldon clothing that I own, which is a not insignificant amount. I mean, if I didn't, I wouldn't keep buying new ones. And I wouldn't end up wearing something of theirs almost every single day. But I do. And that really speaks to my appreciation of the brand more than any of the words that you have just heard or could hear. TBH, this video could have been like a minute long. I just really, really enjoy talking. 8.4 out of 10. So this is the Vesper polo that I mentioned in the video. I really like this shirt and I wear it a lot. You know, it's this is a size small, so I am about 5'11", 145 pounds or so. So, you know, sort of on the slim side-ish. Um, but, you know, I think this goes to a good length. You know, it shows your arms a bit, but not like 
ridiculously so. You know, it doesn't have a lot of excess anything. The buttons or the, the pocket's good. You know, the, the material, which you can't really tell, uh, is sort of mesh-like, which makes it really nice when it's warmer out. You know, it, you can sweat into it a little bit in a way that you can't into other things necessarily. You know, it's just, it's good. It's nice. I like it. You know, do some calisthenics or whatever. So this is the Intrepid. You know, it's a polo. It's the same sort of thing where, you know, it fits more or less the same. I don't think it fits quite as well as the Vesper polo does, but it doesn't use the same sort of mesh fabric. In fact, it actually has silver in it, much like the boxers that I bought and posted in the second video. Um, you know, I do like the way it feels. It is a very comfortable shirt. This design has got stripes. I think all of the designs are striped for this particular one. Um, they have a long sleeve version. I do not own it. I only have short sleeve things because I feel a little odd in long sleeve shirts sometimes, but you know, it is a nice shirt. It feels good. I don't regret buying it. So this is just a gray v-neck undershirt. I wear undershirts from about August until around now, actually. Basically, once it's under 55 degrees, I wear undershirts because I get cold really easily. And so it's nice to have high quality undershirts. And these Mack Weldon undershirts are by far the best I've ever worn. I've tried a few different companies and you know, these are just, it feels really good. You know, it, I mean, it fits well, whatever. There have been times where I've actually used this as a shirt instead. Uh, you know, it's, you know, got some seams. It doesn't look quite like a t-shirt, but it fits well and it goes well underneath clothing. So I'm a fan. This is uh, just a white version of the same thing. So, you know, just to see how the color. Those are the only two colors they have available. I really wish they had black, but they don't. Um, I have I have two of each color. Um, you know, I like them. I wear them a lot, you know. Uh, when I say I wear this stuff most days, I'm typically talking about, you know, either an undershirt, you know, underwear, whatever. So this is the Ace Sweatpant. I am currently standing on my coffee table, so I forgive any wobbleness that, that you see. I, um, you know, it is, again, the same size small. Everything I have from them is a size small. The one problem with the size small here is that the ankles are perhaps slightly shorter than I would like, but, you know, they have little cuffs, the drawstring works. It is extremely comfortable. I had a few other pairs of sweatpants and none of them are as comfortable as this one so you know i am a fan of it as well as with everything else that i have bought from this company now for the moment and now for the moment literally none of you were waiting for these are the silver boxers you know they're pretty thick they're very comfortable i'm a big fan i wear them pretty frequently. I wear them less in the summer because they are a bit heavier than other options, certainly than the Uniqlo Aerisms. But I mean, I do like wearing them. I like the way they feel. And I like the fact that they have silver in them. It makes me feel fancy. And that's really what all this is about. It's about making me feel fancy. So these are the 18 hour jersey briefs. As you can see, they're much more form fitting than the silver ones. They're very comfortable. They're much more comfortable, honestly. They, uh, the fabric doesn't have silver in it, but what it does have is very nice. I really like these. You know, I wear these anytime I'm not wearing the silver ones or the arisms, which is mostly for when it's hotter out. So, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's good. These are good boxers. I like them. And I feel so fucking awkward about doing this and we're done thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video 
that's great. If not, I get it. If you want to see more, um, you won't find them on this channel. Uh, so go somewhere else. But if you want to see more of me, you should subscribe. <laughs> this was so weird. I hope to see you next week. Next next week's good. I, I know what it is already. You're going to like it. I like it. I like this one too, but... <laughs>